Hi there, Tom Mitchell here for Reds TV and it's a very special day for the St George Queensland Reds and I bet one man who's equally as excited is former Red. He's played over 100 games for Queensland, Dan Herbert. Dan, going back to Maroon today for the Reds, how special is that? Well, I think it's Queensland symbolism. There's a lot of history that's gone into that jersey over more than a decade, going back 130 odd years. And, uh, and it well, means a lot to Queensland people. I think they're used to seeing Queensland teams in Maroon. So look, if it inspires the next generation, if it inspires a few more people to get out to the game and watch and inspires those players who wear it, then it's a good thing. Speaking of, what do you think for these current batch of players donning the Maroon jersey? How will they feel running out to Suncorp and representing all the Queenslanders? Look, it's hard to know how attached to history they are and something I think that's important for the current crop is not to get too tied up on the history. Um, it's about their time, it's not about those who went before them, but if they can draw a little bit of inspiration from the past and the past deeds, I know when I got there it was the Tony Shaws and the Mark Lones who wore that jersey. That We used to go out, Andrew Slack used to play in my position, I used to look up to him and then my brother. So there's a lot of history for me that went into that jersey and I think it's trying to reconnect those players with the history that's gone into that jersey before them. And just looking at the history of the kit here, the history of the Maroon jersey, I've seen one of your jerseys there too. Mate, this is a great exhibit, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. I mean, one of the great things that I think sport and rugby and, and the Reds here today, you look back at the history and what you've achieved over a long period of time. The game's going through a bit of a hard time at the moment, but you've got to just sit back and look, and it's gone through hard times in the past as well. And as long as you've got around 500 people here today, there's 500 people who paid money, who care a lot about this sport, and there's a whole lot more out there who, uh, who love the game, you just, we just need to find a way to connect with them. And, uh, and I think the team have started to do that this year.